Okay. Let's do that. Emma Woodhouse, beautiful, clever, and brilliant. There are many intriguing female entrepreneurs in the love and lifestyle industry, but none are more dynamic or have more potential than young Ms. Woodhouse. So I run the matchmaking lifestyle division of the Developing Hybrid Partners Lifestyle Group. I know, complicated. But in nine words, I make your life better, and I never fail. Currently, I hold a perfect 19 for 19 client success record. And you want to know who's number 20? Meet Ryan Weston, 35. You've heard of Cuddly Cupcakes? The one with over 200 locations across the greater United Ryan States. Ryan looks yeah. really CEO. funny. Meet Annie Taylor. Oh Personal my god, and he's so Her beautiful. Infection baking skills will blow the buttons off your cashmere cardigan. Mr. Cupcake Mogul, Ms. Power Homemaker. Perfect for each other, right? But how perfect? They put a ring on it. <laughs> because of me. Who am I? I am Emma Woodhouse. And this marriage is Emma approved. Oh my god, I totally expect, like, who am I? Um. Lizzie Bennett. Oh. So let's talk about Annie and Ryan. Two perfect people who may have never met, may have never locked eyes across a crowded room, and may never have locked lips on the beach at sunset. Boom! Picture because it happened. Emma? Yes? Talking to yourself? No, I'm talking to the world. Seriously, what are you doing? Documenting. <laughs> Alex Knight, <laughs> partner, business development, bookkeeping, boring stuff. Boring stuff. Still boring. So important. Boring me and now them. Who is them? The future editors of this documentary. Oh, okay. And what exactly is it that we're documenting? My greatness. For what purpose? Future achievements. What type of achievements? Like when I received my prestigious Lifetime Achievement Award in Lifestyle Excellence. <laughs> Bettering the world one life at a time. I'll be like Oprah, but better. It's not a joke. Oh, I know. Well, I'll let you keep doing... Uh, Whatever this is. Documenting my greatness for when I receive my future lifetime achievement award in lifestyle excellence. My greatness? <laughs> when get a moment of post greatness documenting, I have some important things to talk about. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, go now, go. Busy, busy. So, back to Annie and Ryan. Or, should I say, the future Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Weston. This all started one day when Mr. Ryan Weston was having dinner with my father and me. So there was a lot of talk, talk, business, business, blah, blah, blah. But the important thing was... That through all of Ryan's long cupcake cuddly days, he was really lonely. He didn't exactly say it, but I knew. It was totally obvious, trust me. So I made sure the next time we all got together, he got to meet my very dear and very single friend, Annie. Little push here, a little plant there, and magic. This is Hello, so Beverly. What, are you too lazy to walk over here? I'm too busy doing important boring stuff. Good boy, stay focused. 20 for 20. And speaking of 20, Annie called, sounded important, want you to call her back. And why are you answering my calls? Because you still haven't hired an assistant yet, which you need to. I bet it's going to be that assistant. Are, are you recording this conversation? No. <laughs> this is so sad. Recording this conversation without my consent is <laughs> technically illegal. I am. About that assistant position, there's a lot of quality resumes over here, so you should... We'll get back to that later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sienna, the amazing, the awesome, the alluring Annie Taylor. By the way, I loved the centerpieces that you picked out for the reception. Very Emma approved. About that. There's something wrong. Well, I don't want you to worry, Annie. I can get you those flowers. I know they're a little rare this time of year, but I'll just call the finger. It's not that. It's just as Ryan still in a shot luge for the reception. Shot luges are so not in my room. Emma, I'm thinking about calling off the wedding. What? So not in my room. Oh my god.
sorry. No, I'll just be on my own. <laughs>